Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul on an order I purchased recently from ColourPop. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys what I got, so I will be swatching everything in this video as well. So if you guys want to see what I got, then just keep watching. I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the lip products because those are on top. So I got a bunch of just regular lippy sticks and like the lip pencils. So they come, first of all, let's talk about the packaging because they come in this cute little box and you guys probably won't be able to see the design on the box, but it is adorable. So these are the ColourPop lippy sticks and this first product I have is a lippy stick called Bound and this is a glossy lipstick so this is super cute I'm absolutely in love with the packaging I like how it shows the color right here and it just has like a plain white tube it's just a really beautiful mid-tone pink I think this is gonna be so beautiful and I am honestly in love with these already I also got the lip pencil that goes along with the lippy stick so this is in the same color bound these are two different colors even though they are both named bound this is gonna be a really good combination anyways because you can give yourself like an ombre look if you line your lips with that and then just like fill them in with the lippy stick I think it's gonna be really pretty so I'm excited to experiment more with these and I will keep you guys updated on if I like them. The next lippy stick I got is called Tootsie and this is a matte lipstick. So it looks like this. This is more of a brown color. Super pretty. I actually didn't get the lip pencil to this, but I think honestly the bound lip pencil is going to work perfect with this. So as you guys can see, like those are almost the same color and these are both bound and this one is Tootsie. Next, I got the lippy stick in the color Lumiere, which is a matte lipstick. Uh, Kathleen Lights, who also has a YouTube channel in here, actually developed this or like developed the color. I think this might be my favorite one just because I'm really into colors like this. So there it is right there. It's sort of more of like a purpley pink and I think this is going to be like a fun color just to wear year round. And I'm absolutely in love with the formulation of all these. I think these colors are just honestly beautiful and I know I mostly lean toward like the more nude colors but I think these are fun and I think I'm getting a lot of use out of them. I also picked up the lip pencil in Lumiere so I'll swatch that right next to it. This is the lip pencil in Lumiere and then that's the lippy stick. So they are pretty close. I consider them pretty much like the same color though. So the last lippy stick I got is in the color Westie and this one's a little bit more of like a vibrant pink. So I'll go ahead and swatch this as well. Oh, this is a matte formula. That is what Westie looks like right there. As you guys can see, it's kind of close to this one, which is bound, but this one's just like a little bit um, more of like a blue tone pink. So then I also picked up the um, lip pencil in the color Westie too. There is the lip pencil in Westie along with the lippy sticks. So this so. first blush that I got is called Between the Sheets, and this is a super shock cheek matte blush. All right, we got that. <laughs> um, this is a really pretty like muted pink color. I actually did a blog post on all of the products that I got. So if you guys are interested in seeing that in like up close pictures and more information, then I will have that linked as the first link in the description box. But back to this blush, I think this is a really pretty like muted pink and they swatch so pretty. But this is Between the Sheets and I am seriously in love with this color. Like this is just like the most perfect pink. You could totally wear this like year round. It's just going to give you like a warm, like really beautiful glow. Even though it's a matte, I think it's just like so pretty. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today and oh my gosh, I'm seriously in love with these. So when you first get the blushes, they have this sort of like snaky pattern that you guys can see around the outside of this blush. Um, they have that like all over it, so it's really pretty. Um, but I have swatched these and played with them, so that's why you guys can see like kind of messed it up a little bit. But these are just so pretty. Like I'm seriously in love with these blushes and just like the formula in general. But I do want to warn you guys, um, you have to make sure you like close up the containers tight because otherwise if air gets in it, then it's going to like dry it out. So just be careful. Just like make sure you guys close your containers. Moving on to the other blush that I got. This is called Trickery and this is a satin blush. So this one is a little bit more of like a pinky coral and I'll go ahead and swatch this right next to it. So this one right here is called Trickery and as you guys can see it's just a little bit more vibrant and more of like a coral tone so you guys can compare those. 
Moving on to eyeshadows, I got eight different eyeshadows and four of them are in this quad which is called Where the Light Is and this was created by Kathleen Lights and she is also a YouTuber and like I mentioned earlier she created the Lumiere um, lippy sticks and lippy pencils. So. so when I saw that she came out with these I definitely had to pick them up. They are insanely beautiful and it comes in a package like this. The first one is called Kathleen Lights and this is a pearlized eyeshadow. When I was watching her videos on how she she like came up with the colors and the names. She got inspiration for this color from the MAC eyeshadow Amber Lights. So this one's called Kathleen Lights. Amber Lights, you know, you get it. Um, so this is just like a really beautiful like goldeny yellow bronze color and they swatch like insane. The pigmentation of these is just incredible like look at that look at the reflection on that so that was the first eyeshadow the second one is called blaze and this is a metallic eyeshadow so that is what blaze looks like this one's a little bit more of like a coppery bronze this is blaze right there I am absolutely in love with these I think they pair together really well and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these in just like all season the next eyeshadow is called glow and this is a matte eyeshadow which is kind of weird because it's called glow but it's matte but it's super pretty it's just like a matte vanilla e color and I think this one is like one of the most buttery eyeshadows out of all the ones that I've gotten and you're not going to be able to see this as well on my skin because it's pretty much the same color but it is amazing for a highlight so it's right there that's really unfortunate you can't see that. If you have like tan to deep skin tones, then this color will show up on you a lot better. But since I'm pretty fair, um, you can't really see it that well. So the last color in this quad is called Cornelius. These matte eyeshadows are really creamy and just like really buttery. And I think this quad, all these colors just go like so well together. So that is Cornelius right there. So there you guys can see all of the four colors together. I think they're pretty amazing and I can see myself getting a lot of wear out of these. Moving on to some single eyeshadows. So the first one that I got is called I Heart This and this is a metallic eyeshadow. This color is like a champagne sort of silver metallic -y color. This color is going to be great to wear just like all over the lid and it's definitely going to give your eyes like a really beautiful glow and I'm just like so excited about this eyeshadow. The next color I picked up is called let me get it out of the box they don't actually have the names on the boxes so you have to like open it up to see what the name is um this one is called lala and this is an ultra metallic eyeshadow there it is right there i guess i never even showed you guys what it looked like so this is more of like a reddish brown color and this one is one of my favorites this is just so so pretty this is just going to be a really good color to just like throw on all over the lid and you'll be good to go the next shade i picked up is called smash and this is a satin eyeshadow so that is what that one looks like. So this one's just a little bit more like muted compared to that last one, but it's like a taupey color. So that is Smash right there. It's more of like a gray toned brown and this one is a satin so it's not like metallic like these two, but super pretty as you guys can see. The last product I got in this haul is another eyeshadow and this one is in the color Amaze and this is a metallic eyeshadow. So it looks like that. So beautiful. I'm seriously like in love with this one too. I'm really in love with all of these, but there's a couple of colors that I'm just like especially excited about. If you guys want to see like up close swatches, like I said, go check out my blog and you guys can see these a lot better. And I did compare them like side by side so you can see them um, lined up like this. That is all the products that I got. And then they also include a couple of cards at the bottom. So the first one is a actually handwritten note that they put in here so it says dearest amanda from one aspiring unicorn to another you're magical thanks color pop um xoxo color pop thanks for that handwritten note i greatly appreciate that and then they also included three different cards since i got three different products so this one is about the eyeshadows the cheek products and then this one is about the lippy sticks and lippy pencils so it just gives you more information on it and like how to use it best and stuff like that. So that is all of the products that I got. I'm honestly obsessed with like everything that I got and I can't wait to play with this stuff even more. Um, if you guys want to see any tutorials or have any specific video requests then leave them in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed seeing my haul then make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe. And that is it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, I'm gonna